Okay, guys, so it is our daily reading time. And we have done Monday. We have done Tuesday. We are now on Wednesday. And so, it's kind of blurry. For Wednesday, we are talking about decorating Valentine's Day cards. So this is a, um, what we call a procedural text. So it's procedural means it's um, telling us something in order, telling us steps on how to make something. Um, so we're going to read it and then answer some questions. So our title is Decorating Valentine's Day Cards. Okay. And it tells us our supplies. Construction paper in different colors. Sequence, rhinestones, glitter, buttons, scissors, and craft glue. Okay, so those are the items you will need to make this card. Directions. Number one, fold the construction paper in half. Two, open the card to the inside and write a heartfelt message to your valentine. Three, on the front cover, lightly pencil in a design you want to use. Use sequins, rhinestones, glitter, buttons, and any other decorations you like. Glue the decorations over the penciled in design. Four, add a ribbon or bow to the top of the card. Okay, so if you notice, guys, there are headers. So here's the header, and this is telling me that everything underneath is our supplies that we're going to need. This header is telling me this, the everything that's listed underneath are the directions, okay? So let's look at um, some of the questions. Which text feature in the selection would best help the reader understand where to place the decorations on the card? So remember guys, text features are um, features that the author puts into his writing to help the reader better understand information, to find information easier. So it's wanting to know um, where we could find, where to place the um, decorations. So I'm gonna find that in my supplies. Am I gonna find that up here in the supplies? No, it tells me what kind of decorations I can use, but it doesn't tell me where I would put my decorations. So A cannot be my answer. Step one. Fold the construction paper in half. That doesn't tell me where to place the decorations on the card. So I'm gonna mark that one out. Step three. On the front cover, lightly pencil in a design you want to use. Use sequins, rhinestone, glitter, buttons, and any other decorations you like. Glue the decorations over the penciled in design. So yes, I'm gonna highlight that. Step three. Hmm, I did that quickly is where I am going to find my answer. Okay, so remember we talked about how you need to be, you need to go back into your passage to find your answer, okay? The illustration, does that picture show us? No. Okay, so D is my answer. What is the author's purpose for providing the information above? So what is this purpose? Why did the author write this? Okay, so let's look through our answer choices. A, encourage people to learn something new. Could be, you know, if you don't know how to make a card, you're learning how to make it. Give information on how to solve a problem. Is this telling us how to solve a problem? Nope, it's telling us how to make something. List the ideas about sequins, rhinestones, and other materials. No, that doesn't tell us the ideas. Show how to interpret or follow directions. Um, I'm gonna look this one because I think it could be either one of those. Um, I don't know. It could be to show how to interpret. So the word interpret means how you um how you interpret, how you understand something. So show how to understand and follow directions. So let me see what would be the correct answer. We're on week two. So D, to show how to interpret or follow directions. 
See, I narrowed it down to two choices. Because this could encourage someone to learn something, but it's actually to show how to interpret or follow directions, to show how to understand and follow the directions on making the card. Okay. So sometimes, guys, you're going to be able, you're going to narrow it down to two, to two choices and you're going to have a hard time trying to figure it out. You're just going to have to kind of think through it and think what would be the best possible answer. So the exit ticket, this is what you're going to be doing on your own. It says write an opinion. Okay, so let's talk about that word opinion. I want you to highlight or underline that word opinion. An opinion is what you think about something, how you feel about something, okay? Not how someone else feels. So like, um, I have a Coke, I'm drinking a Coke right now. I love Cokes. I like the way they taste. I like them when they, I like drinking them when they're very cold. That is an opinion. I think that. Somebody else may not like Coca-Cola. Someone may think, you know what? I like drinking Cokes when they're hot. Okay. So an opinion is what you think, how you feel about something. So write an opinion you have about Valentine's Day holiday cards or candy. So tell me how, what you think about Valentine's Day as a holiday. You can tell me about the Valentine cards or candy. So your opinion. You could say Valentine's Day. I love celebrating Valentine's Day because I love giving cards to the people I love. That's your opinion. Someone else could say, I don't really care for Valentine's Day because I don't like all the mushiness that comes with it. <laughs> okay, so it's your opinion. So you can write about the holiday itself. You can write about um, Valentine's Day cards or Valentine's Day candy. Okay, guys.